These servicemen and women used to be awoken by a bugle. This weekend, their alarms went off bright and early to kick off an unforgettable journey. Just being here, just being here is, is more than I can explain. It's hard to tell who was more excited as Congressman Andy Barr shook their hands before they headed off to Washington, D.C. It's the welcome that you get when we came in and, and to see the people appreciate it. <laughs> like I say, it just it, it makes your heart feel good. While admiring the Iwo Jima Memorial, an unexpected but welcome surprise jogged up. Always on the job, the United States Marines. Navy cadets made a stop during their morning training. I went to Camp Lejeune in January of 1952. The next generation. <laughs> face to face with our nation's heroes. Uh, was good to see you. <laughs> Haven't seen that many Marines together since I left. <laughs> Marion Taylor is 92 and says he was so proud to meet the men and women now carrying the flag. I, I'm glad to see that they're still, still alive. We're still around. For the rest of the day, the vets couldn't stop talking about the moment with the young Marines. Many say it's been a long time since they've interacted with active duty members. I can't describe it. This is wonderful. Near the Pentagon, they toured the grounds of the 9-11 Memorial Garden, knowing the day would come with an array of emotions. Gary Bishop, grateful to experience it alongside family. It's just, it's so much fun and it's, it's, it's like a, a prize. And you get to do it with your son <laughs> even better. <laughs> much better. In Washington, D.C., Kelsey Soto, WKYT.